Well, I'm surrounded by gentlemen this morning. Let's welcome my guests. They are political economy analyst, Mr. Zamakaya Maseti, and political analyst, Mr. Levine Dor. Gentlemen, a very good morning. Thank you so much for being here. A very good morning, and thank you very much for having us. Levi. Morning, Alicia. <laughs> Thank you so much. And now a quick look at the big hashtags of this week. And for this segment, we're very pleased to be joined by another SABC Digital News producer. I'm talking about Mr. Neil Motlong. Neil, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Alicia. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. A very busy week in digital space. Do uh, take us uh, through some of the big things that were happening on the digital front. It's been a big week um, mm -hmm. from Fismas 4. Um, now we're looking at Mnabot Lamini, you know, he, the big case, it's a yeah. big case. he yeah. was in court on Tuesday and was denied bail. Yeah. Um, this is what happened on social media, about 2 million people, the account has reached 2 million people and that's within 18 hours and it has over 2.3 uh, million impressions on social media. So that's a big uh, topic on social media but also we know another student leader was shot. Um, Apparently, people are saying 10 and reports are saying 13 bullets and people are talking about her on social media a lot. Um, if you can read the tweets, let's, you yeah, see, what let's go to the tweets and see what they say. I mean, 2.34 is a huge number. And it's a huge, number it's a huge on topic media. as well. I mean, thinking about the Fees Must Fall protests, they are currently going on and it doesn't seem like there's an end in sight. And seem. I'm going to get a comment from the gentleman there, but I just want to see if we can get those tweets there uh, and see uh, what people said on mm. social media about this. I yeah? mean, as you can see, nothing absolutely, nothing justifies Sh Shaira Kale being shot at 13 times mm. at the back with rubber bullets. I mean, this has happened a lot. I, I was covering Fismas 4 also, and I was shot with rubber bullets you uh, so last week. Yes, so, I saw yeah, that. it was one of those things that was making news on social media. Mm. Shaira Kala and all the other victims of uh, hashtag vets police brutality will be in my prayers forever. So people are really giving support to mm. the fees must fall. I mean, there's been a mixed reaction on social media, of course. You know, gentlemen, we're going to talk about this, but let's talk about, uh, you know, the digital space and how these protests have actually been received. Samaka, what, have, what has been your reaction to how people have reacted on social media? Well, you know, social media is an instrument of mass mobilization nowadays. For instance, I remember during the British riots, which were related to what we have now, the fees must fall. Yeah. The, the movements were controlled through social, social networks. In Libya, for instance, during the downfall of uh, Gaddafi, you know, there was no nuclear, so you couldn't see who were the forces behind the campaign, but the social media forces were leading that campaign. But there are very, very serious weaknesses in using social media as a form of mobilization organization it has its own weaknesses mm -hmm. precisely because you can't identify leaders hence some of these actions can easily be hijacked by reactionary and criminal elements so that's, that's the true. downside of this instrument mm, Levi, are you going to have a say in this topic in the next segment though but now take us through the next story and and, and take us through what happened uh, with the story this okay. will be the icc i mean it was one another of the, story uh, we covered it, it was a major topic on on social media yeah. with activists putting in their voice but this is from this morning people are still talking about it uh, close to half a million people the topic in South Africa has reached and uh, that's within four Jeez. hours and look at when you look at the hours it's in it's in the morning so people are really talking about this people topic are up and talking it's a, about this. yes it's a big topic and close yeah. to 600 um, 600,000 impressions on social media so people are really really it, it's a big topic. What have been some of the tweets that came through though, Neil? I mean, um, this guy basically talks about it's an embarrassment for us. I mean, our latest foreign affairs embarrassment. Mm -hmm. We are pulling out of the ICC. We, people are really not happy with the decisions. That's mm -hmm. why even other activists were coming out on social media saying, you know, this cannot happen. And every African country, this is a different opinion, and every African country should just leave the biased international criminal court if only uh, it persecutes it, Africans. Yeah, people have that perception that it's it's African leaders who are persecuted, that are targeted. That yeah. are targeted. Mm. So that's why some of them are one supporting. One more tweet. I think we have one more tweet there. No? Yeah. Uh, why why is it that joining the international court, uh, the criminal oh, court, is so yeah. easy and requires no global attention, but leaving it is a tool of in a mayhem to Africans? People are saying that. Why can't we just basically move out? That's a great question. Yeah. It's like the Brexit. Hey, Levi? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well you know, Alicia, um, on this one, we will obviously get mixed reactions. Yeah. But then let's go back to uh, what happened um, during the AU summit, you know, because that is one thing that actually influenced this kind of a decision. Um, 
MPs were, were actually uh, differing. Some were saying, no, let's continue uh, our participation in the ICC. And others were saying, no, there's a resolution that has been adopted by the AU to actually to not withdraw. cooperate with the ICC. Yeah. So obviously we'll get all these mixed reactions. But I think you need a sober, very sober uh, government to sit down and say, what then do, are we supposed to decide or mm -hmm. do that is, that is actually going to benefit South Africa at the end of the day. I, I think, Alicia, the most Very important quickly. point about South Africa's withdrawal is that it brings into sharp focus democratization of UN institutions and multilateral organizations. For instance, for long, Africa has been calling for the democratization of the United Security mm, Council, mm, and mm. those guys, they just don't listen. And you can see the hegemonic role that is played by the United Nations and all these multilateral institutions. So I think to us, we have to go back to our own instruments, African peer review mechanism, yeah. make sure that we, we strengthen those institutions. The African Union will have to make sure that most of these countries, they subscribe and join the African peer review mechanism so that we can police our own leaders. Zamakai, we're going to get more views on that because we do have that topic as a main topic on our show. No, a very yes. quick one. What was the this topic one, all about? Um, I mean, there's been... She's uh, still popular. She's still popular. <laughs> there have been so many reports on social media, but if you look at the timeline, the tweets are going down. Mm -hmm. And this is in two days, um, 600, over 600K. Mm. The tweets have been reached close to a million, actually, impressions on social media. So, mm. I mean, there's been a lot of reports on, uh, in the media. So people are really talking about um, the state capture now number one and uh, the allegations that, that are followed by by the Gupta family yeah. so people are really like interested in this topic mm, and what are they saying in, <laughs> in terms of uh, interest the <laughs> tweets that we've gathered during the week are very negative I normally give people the benefit of doubt on their new task but this one Hi. I <laughs> I have a bad feeling about her public protector hashtag public protector and some people are calling for when are we getting the new public protector this one says we've just got one yes. <laughs> So the only Four days in office. So they only appointed a new public protector to trash the old one. Hey, 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 hey. So well. people are really <laughs> not on her side. Thank you so much. It's no, a pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll probably see you again next week. Gentlemen, you're going to have uh, a lot more to talk about.